going, intimidating. First it was a joke, <laughs> and I put it up because I wanted to just make stupid music, and I guess it kind of took off. So, weep is just like sadness, whereas in my unalun alias is uh, comes from this. So this is an unalun, and it's a Buddhist symbol for growth. So meaning like healing. So I guess it means healing, and lobo weep is just like sadness, and that's like the difference between my music as well. If you listen, see, I, I've always been traveling. So I don't really know, <laughs> but I, I grew up in like a little town. Uh, I used to live on like a farm, and then I moved to a major city, Adelaide. And um, Australia is so uh, cool. <laughs> it's very like foresty and beachy, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's different. It's different from here. Somebody asked me this last week, and I was stuck on this question. I feel like I'm. I used to be very introverted when I was young. I didn't leave much. I didn't do anything. But now I'm very extroverted. I hate being still. I like to go out all the time. I want to be around everybody. <laughs> so extroverted. I mixed relationship because it's like a battle of me trying to heal myself and put it in my music. And then when I'm sad, I don't want to put sad music out, but it's me. So I guess it's mixed. Really, really complicated. <laughs> I'm in like a love-hate relationship with my, my music right now. People, meeting lots of people uh, and traveling. I guess my music is like an expression of things I've been through. So it's like a diary, a self diary. Of course, definitely. If I didn't have music, I don't know where I would be. And I feel like that's the same for a lot of other artists as well. Because when I'm sad, you know, I can make a song feel a million times better. And if I didn't have that, I'd probably lose myself. Like, it's like you can listen back to it and you can f feel like what you're trying to put into the music. So yeah, it's definitely like a lot. <laughs> oh my God, um, feet DMs. I don't like getting foot fetish DMs. I get a lot of fetish DMs. Yeah, and then, yeah, all the time. And then all I'll get like, just like, come to Brazil. Uh, that one's funny just cause I, Brazil is so caring. It's just like a joke at this point. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't want to trigger anyone saying this, okay, but <laughs> but I, I have a lot of belief. I think uh, I think we're our own higher power, like with ourselves. But I feel like there is something but we don't know what it is, and I don't know if that's like a simulation because that makes a lot of sense. But I don't know. I think we're our own higher powers. Oh shit! Okay. Um, whew. Hold on, you gonna let me think for one second. I'll do this one. <laughs> so this one, it's a um, piece. Do you know the movie The Grudge? So Toshio Saki is a strip, <laughs> one of his comics, and it's like this woman shitting and pissing and ashing in someone's mouth. And I guess I got this because I was like, this is how I want to defeat my demons. <laughs> so, so I got this one, but I have like a lot of like stupid ones as well. Like this one, I got this one recently because someone, I was thinking, I was like, everyone's trying to own me in a world where like, I can only own myself. So I got this for that. 
Wait, my first, my first tattoo. Oh my god, I actually have more than this. Sorry. Um, my first tattoo was my knuckles. But yesterday I got my friend. Like we went to a party, and this girl came up to us, and my, she's a tattoo artist. She did this one, and uh, which what the fuck? So like to have a place called home because I've been traveling forever. But um, she like went to a party and she was tattooing, and this girl came up to us and she's like, I want you to tattoo two words on me. What should it be? And then she looked at me and I said Playboy, and then my friend said Waste. So then and we just stuck with it. So like yesterday before I left LA, like, she tattooed on me. <laughs> Yeah. So I have like lots of <laughs> I have lots of stupid tattoos, but like some like actual pieces too. I don't know. My body is like this side is like art, and this side is just like shit that I go through. It's just like random shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. When I die, I said to my friends, I want people to look at me in my coffin and just like my body to be my life story. You know, like because that, that's what it is essentially. Like. I can just like write on it when I want to. <laughs> a butterfly, or maybe no, no, a butterfly maybe. I like I like bugs, so maybe a bug or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, insects, like a bee, maybe a bee actually. I really like bees or a bear. I like been really interested in brown bears lately. So maybe a bear. Yeah. Um, more so producers. I really love. Um, instrumentals more so like musicians because they like when I listen to them I can like interpret the sound and like kind of be my thoughts so like Flying Lotus, Lomo, Clams Casino and then like some artists that I really like I don't even know anymore so many <laughs> I listen to so much but uh, my friends I love my friends music like recently I've been listening to Kill Station because they made an album I love and like XXX and Tashion, just because I love him, but his name tells you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess. Simple. Uh, so most of my songs, half of them, I made like on like psychoactive drugs. <laughs> so I guess um, a lot of them is like when I just kind of like, like what for example, one of my songs like Saturated Illusion or like Throw Down Your Fears. It's just like my. It's like if I could put everything into two words or like just something, like what would it be? And that's why. Other other titles though, like I wrote the song for you, so so like cliche. I don't like my songs like that. So I guess if I I try and pick a meaning or a title that's like a sum up of everything. So it takes a little bit. It used to be it used to be LSD just because it's so intense and like I could trip for like 12 hours and be in like Wonderland. I like, got actually tattoo. <laughs> but uh, now I, I shrooms just because I've got what I need for LSD. <laughs> And shrooms is just like carb, you know, just happy, you know. But yeah, it's full organic. But I know LSD is not so organic. I don't even know. It's a good question. I usually do LSD or by myself or like just with friends. So I guess with my friends. Like I've had a lot of weird trips, but I never had a bad trip before. I just learned a lot about myself making music. I think one one of my most like amazing trip I had was when I made like such a delusion, and I was just like in my thoughts so much, and I just remember just being there and just. Like writing, like it's just coming out like so much. I never, I never was able to like write that much. It just didn't stop coming. I could write like ten songs at once, just go, go, go. That was like really cool. And then I felt like afterwards, I was like, oh my god, like <laughs> for so like beautiful. Like, let's see. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and yeah, I like to make my art kind of like symbol of me, I guess. So I guess it's just me, but, like me viewing myself in like a different state. So, yeah. Like that. Like, oh, love. <laughs> yeah, I have too much love to give. <laughs> That's my issue. <laughs> I feel like I'm here to like love or like care to people or heal or something. So yeah, love. I want people. I don't want people to listen to my music and think, oh, this is so sad. I'm so sad, depressed. Like, oh. Blah. I want people to like listen to it and like be sad, and feel, but then like come out like not like learning something or like feel refreshed I guess I don't want people to take my music and be in their heads like I feel like that's why I have tr trouble making sad music because I don't want people to take it and be sad too you know I want people to be happy <laughs> from it so you take it like I do and like think of it like an expression of yourself when you listen to it so yeah so I'm making an album right now it's called Illusions and it's like literally um, half it's gonna be like my 
because I've been absent for a little bit. I've just been like going through all my life stuff, and I want to put everything I'm going through and everything like everything dark that I've learned in the first half of the album, and then the second half I want to like put like um, happy like everything I learned. So I want people to listen to it and literally feel, and then come out knowing something. So yeah, so I love. Stay, stay put on my Spotify. I try and only put like my main music on Spotify. I also have a want to work on a music video soon. So if you just like look up literally earn or learn or Lobo Week, you can find me there. Or on Instagram, which is just Lobo Week. And Twitter. And, and find high finds, high thoughts, go 